Hello YouTube! Today I'm gonna do the unboxing of this uh, video security system. It's the Amcrest HD 1080 Lite. And it takes both uh, analog cameras and IP cameras. And based on that combination was that I got it, because I already have some analog cameras in my house. And I'll be connecting some additional IP cameras. Through this video I'm gonna show you what comes inside the box and how to do the connection with your mobile phone or your computer. Inside the box you're gonna find the DVR, a warranty from Amcrest, important security notice, thank you for your purchase. You can also find a, a diagram for the connection with the cameras, a CD that I assume that is gonna have the applications to install on your computer, a quick start guide, serial ATA connector and power connector for your hard drive, power uh, supply for the DVR and over here we have uh, a standard mouse and they also put some screws for your hard drives. This is what it looks like and on the back you're gonna have a number of uh, BNC connectors for your uh, analog cameras, you're gonna have your uh, audio inputs a USB port, an HDMI, VGA uh, connector for your uh, monitor, and the Ethernet connector. And in the front, it will have just indicators for network, hard drive, and power. And a USB port on the front as well. And on the bottom, you're gonna have your serial number, digital video recorder, and the model number. It looks like this one can be mounted has a holes for the screws to mount it uh, on the wall or to mount it on a surface. We're gonna need a screwdriver to open this and see how we install the hard drive inside the unit in case that you buy the model that doesn't carry the hard drive. For this test I'm gonna use a 4 terabyte hard drive that I already had. So let's open the DVR and see if we can install this uh, inside. So most likely I have to take out these two screws on the back and probably these two screws on the sides. Once you have to remove those two screws on the sides, most likely the cover is going to slide downwards. Once you have it open, uh, you just need to mount the hard drive. It has uh, four screws here to put the hard drive. So let's connect the hard drive. I'm gonna put the the power cable for the hard drive, the serial ETA power cable over here. And once you connect the hard drive, we'll have to connect the serial ETA data cable. So once the hard drive is in place, we just need to slide the core in and close it, putting the screws back into position. We need to put back the two screws that we took out from the back. And that's pretty much it. Let's hook it up. Once the Amcrest Network Video Recorder boots up, you will be presented with the initialization wizard that will guide you through the setup process in a few easy steps. The first screen will prompt you for a new administrator password and a security question and answers to log in into the system. It is critical that you change the system administrator password to avoid hackers breaking into your Amcrest video security system and watching your activities in real time and seeing what you do. Hit next once you completed 
entering the new administrator password. And on the next screen, you can enter an unlock pattern that will allow you logging into your system without having to type a password each and every time. This is an easier method than actually typing the actual password when you're looking at the Amcrest network video recorder on the console. Confirm the unlock pattern and hit next once completed. Now the system will allow you to enter your email address and a series of security questions that will be useful should you forget your admin password, allowing you to reset it should that ever happen. Hit next to save. On the general tab, you will have the chance to change general parameters as the name of the Amcrest DVR on your network, the language for the UI, the video standard, NTSC for America, PAL for other countries, and the automatic logout time when the Amcrest network video recorder is idle. Next, you can change the date and time settings. Here you can adjust the current time and time zone of the Amcrest network video recorder. This is important since you will always want to know when events occur and having the correct timestamp could be critical. The system could automatically update the time with internet servers should you leave that option enabled, unless your system, of course, has no connection to the internet. Clicking next will guide you to the network options. Here you can define an static IP address instead of the automatically assigned via the HCP. I'm going to change mine to 192.168.5.88 to make it easier for me to remember how to reach my Amcrest DVR. Also, you can adjust the MTU. This is a useful option should you need to change it because you're on a DSL or another type of connection that requires a different MTU setting. Next, you will be allowed to set up the client, the mobile client on your mobile device via P2P or better known as peer-to-peer. -peer. This will make easier accessing your network video recorder over the internet. For this to work, you will have to scan one of the two QR codes that the screen will present you with. These two QR codes, one of them, the first one, contains a URL that will direct you to the correct application on the App Store, depending on your device, to download the Amcrest NVR client. The second one contains the device serial number. This is your Amcrest video recorder serial number that you will need on the mobile application to connect using P2P. Hit next to continue. And on the next screen, you could change the encoding options of the video and the audio, and also the resolution for your recordings. The lower the resolution, the more you will be able to record for the space that you have. And you will also be able to change the snapshot options and the overlay options should you want to change the overlay to include a logo or text over your security video recordings. I'm going to skip those and accept the defaults. Hit next to continue. Next, you will be asked what to do when the hard drive is full when you run out of space. The default option is to overwrite any previous recordings. I will do that. I will skip it and accept those defaults since it should be enough with the time that one terabyte will, will give me for the amount of cameras that, you ha that I have. Finally, you can choose the recording schedule for each one of the channels. Here you can adjust when to record on motion detection or when to record continuously for each one of the channels. Remember, this network video recorder accepts both analog cameras and network security IP cameras. I will accept the defaults and hit finish. That's the end. You're greeted for, with a thanks for purchasing this device. That's all I'm going to cover in this video, the device initialization portion. Stay tuned for the next videos on how to connect Amcrest IP cameras to the Amcrest HD 1080 Lite network recorder. The specific model for this network video recorder is AMD VS Invictor TENL16. I will be posting the link on the description should you want to buy one.
this is a very budget-friendly network video recorder. Also, subscribe to my channel for additional networking, security systems, how-tos, and a small business technology. Hit the notification bell to make sure that you're alerted when I upload a new video. I will be posting new videos on how to connect Amcrest IP cameras to the Amcrest network video recorder, and many more networking tips and tricks that will help you configure and troubleshoot these systems. Thank you for watching.